COVID. No fucking COVID. <clears throat> Does it matter to you? And you got a job to do, you got to do it well. You're the other fella. Used to say you live and let live. You know you did, you know you lived, you know you did. Wow. Wow. All right, what's going on? Forgot I was here. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you? Who we got? Who we got? We got the usual suspects. Come on. Some of my favorite watches. I look like shit today. Oh, fuck, I'm tired. I ain't shaved me, did Still needs a haircut. Look at me. Look at that shit, dude. I could shoot a, I could shoot like a Tressa May commercial. I truly, truly could, man. God, Duke. Every time I see your name now, I focus on this goddamn clock. Fuck, it's killing me. It's the clock. It's killing me. Now I want to kill the clock. I want to kill the clock. Oh, 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 oh. I get up around seven. Get out of bed around nine. And I don't worry about nothing, no, because why it's a waste of my fucking time. Hey, um, I do need a theme song. Facebook won't let me play anything that I don't own. I don't know why I'm yelling. I don't mean to yell. I don't mean to yell. Um... I thought I put a, uh, I thought I put a, um, what do they call that thing here? As we get into the uh, toilet paper debate tonight, John Duke sparked on Tuesday night while putting aside his almond milk bath to be with us. He's got skin like velvet. You wouldn't even believe it. Um, a little bit of feedback about the uh, Tuesday night show. I did get uh, some teachers were happy. No teachers were upset. Um, and uh, a lot of people agreed with the Iowa tests. We all need those years back. Um, Kevin Sestari in the house. Big handsome. Big handsome Kevin's in the house. Toast tongs. Never knew they existed until Monica and Matt Conway saw me almost electrocute myself online by sticking a butter knife into the toaster. So, thank you guys. Toast tongs. Fat guy chopsticks, as I like to call them. Fat guy chopsticks. All right. We always go peanut butter first. All right, so oh, I see the comments aren't working again because I'm an ass. Oh, stop with the clock conversations, man. You're all crazy. All right, listen to me. Anshay says we're talking about shit tickets. Listen. Uh, you know how many family fights and arguments have been caused? Go, no, I'm not doing this with you tonight, Hazel. It, go lay down. Go lay down. It's like she knows. Um, start many a family war. 
about how to put the toilet paper on. So let's go. I'm going to tell you my answer flat out. And then I'm going to destroy any person who does it the wrong way. First, we're going to do our fluff and utter toast. Did you say chest hairy? What the? What? What? Mm -mm. I'm hungry. Listen, I'd like to say that this is a brand new jar of fluff, but it's not. Your boy Johnny's got no holding back skills. And I had one yesterday for breakfast. Open a jar, open a jar, open a jar, open a jar. These uncertain times, and oh, oh my God, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. Fluff, I want you inside me. Please get inside me. Mm. Oh, blibber. Blabber, to watch that belly get fat, a fat boy on a diet. All right. Do this the proper way, like we do all the time. When we get into this argument about some chip paper, I got a lot of shout out. Happy birthday, Johnny Russell. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Paul and Dolphy. Oh, it isn't it? All right. I got you. I got you. Oh, man, hold on. I took notes because I never remember this stuff. Everybody chill. Everybody just chill, all right? Where the fuck y'all going? Just chill, man. Chill. Just chill. Nah, man. Happy birthday to my coworker. Terry Lupacino, I appreciate you. And a big happy birthday to Glenn Green. Um, when I was a kid, he was a big influence on me. He knows what he did. I know what he did. And some kids want to grow up to be Derek Jeter. Some kids want to grow up to be Michael Jordan. I was cool if I could just grow up to be uh, like Glenn Green. Good father, good husband, good man. So there's my toast to Glenn. Who hopefully someday sees this. Was Chatfield school kids. Um, this is going to be a little sappy, then we'll get into the funny. Um, you don't remember every teacher you ever had, and you don't have relationships with teachers, you, all the teachers you, you've ever had, but you remember. And I remember Mrs. Donato was third grade, was our third grade teacher. Actually, Robert was in her class, I was in Mrs. Donato. But I remember Mrs. Donato, and it's funny, when she was brought up to me, the first thing, two things I rem remembered about her, um, was that she liked Robert better. And she always loved, she was always wearing costumes. Um, I can't remember, I mean, not just Halloween, but like for the stuff that we did. Um, and she always told me to behave, so she was on to something there. So unfortunately, Mrs. Donato is no longer with us. Um, so big shout out to her. And uh, the world lost a nice person. I didn't know her that well. I knew her son, Stevie. Um, I know her son, Stevie. Um, I do remember that she was one of those teachers who, uh, I remember for good reasons. So uh, our thoughts are with her family. And that's it for the sap. Dan Carp is back in the house. Eric Pampiano says, do something funny, funny, man. Like what? You want me to show you my wiener, man? 
Come on, man. All right, so here's to all of you. Fucking from everywhere. All right. The proper answer to the toilet paper question is you always put the toilet paper over, over, never under towards the wall. Never. Always over, front facing. Fight me. Sandu? Eric Pampiano wants me to and uh, dance like a monkey. Well, I'm over here eating a fluffernutter and I'm 25 pounds to 30 pounds overweight. There'll be no dancing. Kidding me? I'll fucking break through the floor. I ain't paying for no floor. Come on, man. I know Eric being funny. Eric's a funny guy, too. Um, over, John Duke, please tell me you do it over, buddy. We've been friends for all these years. Absolutely, dear. It's over. Always over. All right, John Duke says I'm correct. Susan Shirley says I'm correct, which means that means John Duke is correct. Because, um... Uh, <laughs> Chris Hans commented on my thing earlier. I hope he doesn't mind me saying it. Obviously, he doesn't. He put on there. He he goes. I he goes. I always put it over. He goes. But anytime I go to somebody's house, no matter how they have their toilet paper, he goes. I change it to the opposite. And John Duke and I both agreed that that's the most fucking diabolical thing we've ever heard in our lives, and that is absolutely fantastic, Chris. Please keep up the good work. Tips my hat to him. Over, over. Sistari says he does it over. Karen Carp says, I think I'm the only one who doesn't care how the toilet paper goes. Karen, you're a sweetheart. You're a beautiful, beautiful, smart woman. Say it goes over. It goes, it goes over. It, it, it's over. It's got to be over. What movie is that? Ah, that's good fellas there, Eric. How funny am I? The fuck's so funny about me? I know the good fellas, bro. I think I did a diorama on the good fellas in, in grammar school. You guys remember dioramas? I still make the occasional diorama when I'm bored. I have a diorama collection. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. I have a whole room full of dioramas. No joke. Not only that, but I guarantee you're never going to find anybody else to segue into a good diorama joke. Aaron says, all right, for you, over. All right, how about for me, under? <laughs> See what I did there, Karen? Way to get over one woman is to get under another. Oh, she called me a mushroom fun guy. It's got to be full now. It's like the Aces Churum show. Lace is out, Finkel. Lace is out. You can't put the fucking shit towards. I would hold something towards the wall, right? So every time you're sitting on the shitter and every time you're taking a deuce, or not taking one, leave it there. I call it making it. You know, fecal matter and spittle and shit gets in the air. Now you're taking that toilet paper that's got that fecal matter and it hit the wall. And it's rubbing the wall. And you're pulling it. I don't know, man. It's like, it's like dry humping. What's the sense? Right? You're only going to get burned in the end. Tell me I'm wrong. Dog, you got to lay down. You're not getting food because I'm on Facebook. Every time I get on Facebook and try to be funny, you interrupt me because you think you're going to get food. 
Go lay down. Go play with your toy. Hey, no. Look at this dog. Right here. Get it. <laughs> oh. I blame you, Jack. You tried, you made this dog into a diva, man. I want you right now. Best, best of it for the rest. You did, Jennifer Lynn. You got here right in time. Um, you got here right in time. We were talking. We were talking about toilet paper. Proper way to put it is over, not under. Then we got the fecal matter, and then we got to dry humping. And here we are, folks. It's Thursday night. It's eight twenty-seven. And if we can't talk about dry humping amongst friends, what the hell can we talk about? Dry humping. Oh my God! How many thirteen-year-old boys had carpet burns in places they shouldn't have? Oh, first years of our life. No, go lay down. No, the rest of the sandwich. Go lay down. No, you're not gonna get it because Jack makes you famous. You're not the okay. The people aren't here to see you. All right. This isn't Turner and Hooch. All right, there, pal. Okay, this isn't Lassie. Nobody's trapped in a fucking well. Go play with your toy. Okay. All right. What is it, boy? What is it? Did little Timmy fall in the well again? Come on. Get out of here. Yes, go ahead. Seriously, go lay down. Uh, Lifford's in the house. Good man. Scotty Andrews is in the house. Um, uh, that's pretty damn funny. Um. I don't even know where I am. I'm scatterbrained tonight. Um, I thought I put up a uh, vote on to tell me how you do the toilet paper. I don't know if it's here. I can't see it. You guys can tell. You guys tell me if you can see. It. Hey, go, come on. Here, you want the rest of this sandwich? I'm like that zoo guy, Jack, on the Tonight Show. I bring the animals, we feed them. Hopefully she doesn't pee on any of you guys. You want to see the dog? They all want to see the dog. I'll show you the dog. Let me make some, oh, let me make some room for the dog. Hazel. Hazel. Come over here. Hazel, come over here. Hey, look at rooms. Look ahead. Know your directions. Go this way. Hey, come over here. This way. Over here. Hey, over here. Just being a potato. Hey, over here. No, no, no. Hey, come over here. I'll get her with What she's doing. Ease. Ease. Thanks for avoiding the question. Uh, oh, the question about me doing a Facebook Live on mushrooms? Oh, my goodness. I could never. I don't do drugs anymore or any less. Uh, no, seriously, I don't do drugs. I'm good. I'm a clean boy. I just recently started drinking again. Um, we were talking about uh, dry humping. Let me get back to dry humping. Um, Remember, you guys remember Saturday was a Saturday night. We were talking about the eighth grade dance. How you know Stairway to Heaven came on or whatever, and the way they used to let us dance. Having like crazy flashbacks of those fucking dances. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on, no, 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 up here, up here, up here, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, if we can get her, guys. And then she climbs behind me. This dog is motion. Look at the people. Oh, Hazy, look at it. Say hi to the peoples. Say hi to the peoples. Say yo, what's up, man? Say, hello, everybody. How are you? Hello. Kisses. That's how you know we love our animals, people. 
we know that they can lick their own assholes, yet we love them anyway. Oh. Just gonna sit here for a half an hour and love on my dog. She is a good one. She's in the facility. Where are you going? You see me with her? Hey, come here. This way. Go this way. I don't want you to get hurt. You gotta go this way. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, holy. Like every woman in my life, she's hard headed, stubborn, and she's going to do it her own way anyway. What is it? What is it? <laughs> can I do a shadow puppet? I sure can if you let a sock on the right place. If you go back, man, in like three of these things, I've been wearing the uh, Valley uh, Oil sweatshirt. Good man he is. Uh, a great looking buck. Thank you, sir. She is a good puppy. Um, did I tell you guys the story about how I um, about how I rescued her? Funny it was. Oops, not funny. Me. Stop me if I've told you this before. Um. Seven years ago, it was actually seven years ago, May 1st. No, six years ago. Seven years ago, May 1st. Sorry. It was the week before that or two weeks before that. It was Easter. I had Easter. We had Easter at my mother's house like we do every year. And so me and Robert are there. Filling a the red wine. I'm fucking bing, blitzed. And he's going through his work email. You know, it's later at night, so we're winding down. So he's just going through his work email. And he's on this email chain where this woman says her and her husband rescued a dog and doesn't get along with their dogs and they had to give it back. And now the shelter just emailed them and said the dog has 48 hours to live before they have to put it in the Rescues the dog. I'm hammered. I'm hammered, right? So this is Easter Sunday. And I go, I'll take, I'll take the dog. I'll take the fucking my brother. He applies to the chick. No problem. My brother's going to come get the dog. So I work the next day. It's Monday. My brother calls me at work. He's like, yo, you got to go get that dog tonight. What dog? It was the dog you said you'd rescue yesterday. I said, what I did? What did I say? He goes, yo, you said you would rescue that dog. And he tells me, that he has to tell me the story over. Because I was blitzed on red wine. The nice Italian wine. Long story short, my brother's like, you don't embarrass me. I work with these people. You said you take that dog. I drove to Fairfield, picked up a dog I didn't want at the time. And now she's been with us ever since. And she's part of the family. And she's apparently Facebook uh, famous. That's how I got to be with Hazel. Hazel, here, lick the plate. But we love the haze. We love the haze. Anyway, tonight's show's kind of... I got... I got I wanted to talk about toilet paper. It seems we all are putting toilet paper on the correct way. And I think that's fantastic. I always knew that I don't hang out with friends with people who don't put their toilet paper on the right way. Um, so Aaron's laughing at the red wine. Um, I like to drink a little bit. I don't know if you guys watch. You guys, oh my God. Saturday night, two and a half hours on Facebook Live. We had our lives. Um, the social distancing is almost over. We're almost all allowed to go out of our house again. I personally have been abiding by the rules because of my employment, and I don't want to get any of my coworkers sick. I don't want to be – I'm not worried about me as much as I'm worried about my coworkers. So I'm one of those guys who's been following the rules. It sucks ass, but I do it, and I will continue to do it, and um, I won't put myself in possibly uh, emanate. Um but it's almost over, which means some of us are going to start seeing each other again. I want to tell you guys something. We all know that I got fat. Uh, and I'm ugly. Now listen. 
can't change that I'm ugly. That's what we can change that I'm fat. I want to walk. I want walking buddy. I want to go. Anybody want to ever want to go walking? Let's walk. Plenty of places to go walking. I'd like to do that. I, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to, uh, something I used to do uh, before all of this, just so not many of you know, but I want to share with you. Um, oh, hey, we got another $150 to the food bank this week. I just remembered. I'm going to have a letter drawn up with all of your names on it so that I can have it framed and uh, I'll probably get copies out to everyone who's donated. Sorry, completely off track, but I know. I'm just so proud of you. Um, I've been, I was asking friends once a week, a different group of friends or a friend or two friends or three friends or whatever to go to dinner. Um, paying, we're all paying. Whoever has to pay, pays. Life is short. I want to hang out with everybody. So let's all have dinners together. Let's go walking together. We're going to dance up at the Shea Farm. Heather and John are going to have us all, and we're going to dance the night away. We're going to have the time of our lives. Maybe we'll put tents up and stay there that night. It'll be free music and free love, right? And uh, first of all, Scott says, I was late. Was the correct answer top or bottom? Well, Scott, why don't you tell all of us? Which one are you? Ah, see what I did there, pal? And I need a haircut. I do, man. And Jack says, we offered. You did, Jack, but, you know, have to be ready to myself. So since the uh, social distancing doesn't end till the end of the month, I'm giving myself to the end of the month. Yeah. Look at me. I got chins everywhere. I'm unshaded. Oh, it's so good. Kevin Sestari says I'm beautiful. I pitch you on the mouth, Kevin Yeah. Still waiting, Scott Andrews. Are you a top or bottom? He's not telling us. He says always top. Power top. Um, to end the argument, and we've all agreed, not one person had said the other way. Karen was the only one who says she doesn't mind, but we've since changed her mind. The toilet paper goes over, over, never under towards the wall, so it gets fecal matter on it. Disgusting. You can't wipe fecal matter with fecal matter. It doesn't work. You get sick. That's how your balloon knot gets hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids on your not, you can't have a dirty balloon knot. You cannot go through life with a dirty balloon knot. Mom, remember when mom and dad used to tell us, always have clean underwear. You don't want to get caught without clean underwear. You don't want to have to go. What if you have to go to the hospital and you have dirty underwear on? Nobody wants to get caught with a dirty balloon knot. The way we live, but if you got friends, what you do with them. So, what I care about what you do. Um, as we wind down tonight's show, I'm going to try to keep Tuesdays and Thursdays short because you guys are so magnificent and great to me that you spend almost two hours with me every Saturday. I don't know if that's going to continue. Um, and I have to make a decision on what we're going to do once social distancing is over. People can leave their houses again. Um, I don't know that this is going to continue. The podcast will go forward. Um, I don't know if this is going to go forward. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the feedback is. We'll see how fun it is. If we can still get people to go in, and maybe in the winter time when everybody's back in their houses again, and um, um, how do I get on my socks and shoes? Set them up in clothespins on a wire I have two feet up off the ground, and I jump off my bed right into them. That's the only way to do it, bro. Dude, you guys think it's funny? I dropped a fifty dollar bill and over and get it. I'm out fifty bucks. I'm not even trying it. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Um no Heather. Uh, no. Ah. Uh, people are all too they're all too goddamn funny, man. You are all too Sock, 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 shoe, shoe, sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Is there anybody in the world who goes sock, shoe, sock, shoe? Nobody goes sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Everybody goes sock, sock, shoe, shoe. There's no way. There, uh, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Not up in here. There's no person in the world that goes sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Nope. Calling it right now. Happen. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Renee's going to be mad that I burped at you. Loves me anyway. Never going to divorce me. Not going to happen. Nobody in the world goes sock shoe. Can't happen. Can not happen. Melissa Lydon's here. Melissa Lydon, your husband got rid of his iPhone and I couldn't FaceTime him. Do you have an iPhone? So I can FaceTime him on Saturday night if I would like to? Say yes. Say yes. Yeah. I've been loading like a freight train, flying like an airplane, feeling like a space plane. One more time. <clears throat> I'm a West Coast baby. Holy shit, Brian Woolner? He goes. <laughs> I don't hear from Brian Wilder in years. And he says, I've been a long time. You look good, old, but good. You got me, bro. Brian Wilder, how are you, man? There's a blast from the past. Brian Wilder, tune into Saturday Night Show, man. We're going to have a beer together. Isn't it? Oh, my goodness. All right, so here's the plan, kids. We're going to raise more money for the food bank. We're going to raise more money for some families. And um, hold on one second. That is hysterical. Heather, that's my son. Um, let me, uh, I'll send you mine when I'm done with this. Oh, you know why, Heather? Are you watching? Um, um, try this. Got that I'm on your back for that. I don't have uh, people are talking to me like I'm crazy. Where are we? What are we doing? All right, where are we going? Let's, I switched him to the dark side. Whoa. Oh, Debbie Study in the house. Debbie Study. I'm not drinking tonight. Tonight's a Schweppes black cherry. All right. Um, I don't drink during the week. I don't drink alcohol during the week because I don't. Um, God knows when I'm drinking now. I turn into uh, my legs start walking me anywhere but home. When I, be, that's why I don't. I don't um, my eyes get blurry, my head gets tight, and my legs be walking me anywhere but home. Um. Debbie Story. I always loved GNR. I still love GNR. Edward Droney's here. I'm so glad you're here, Edward. Edward is the coolest cat this side of Mississippi. We all got to wear face masks. And Ed got your boy Johnny. Two New York Mets masks. Coolest things in the world. And uh, he's probably the nicest guy I've met in a long time. I know some very nice people, but I've known them for a very long time. Ed's a new friend recently, past couple of years, and he is quite possibly the ni nicest guy you ever met. So, Ed, thank you for the mask, you big, handsome bastard. Uh, Melissa, I did have a fluffernutter, and I ate about half of it, and Hazel ate the other half because she was not. Hazel is really starting to impinge on my Facebook time. The dog is just, you know, like I'm Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, like just needs to be included. You know what I mean? Like I wrote the whole thing. I'm, I got the money for the whole thing. I did the whole thing. I'm the talent, but no, Ben Affleck's got to be like, bro, let me, let me get in there. So she's, she's Ben Affleck for my Matt Damon. That's what she is. You know what I mean, I mean, truth be told, we're really like the Nelson. What are you going to do? 
But anywho, let's do this. Let's raise the money for the food bank. Um, let's get them some more cash. Saturday night, I think we're going to do another cocktail hour. I think it's a good idea. You get, we all seem to enjoy it last time. So Saturday night, happy hour here together. We're all going to have cocktails. We can get some new people to FaceTime. I'll FaceTime the old people too. God knows that you're all too damn funny. Jamie and Amanda and Paulie and of course, Joey and Kelly. I can't even remember all the people we FaceTimed. It was such a good time. Um, we'll start to FaceTime some new people. I got people telling me that I could use Duo, but I have an iPhone. If I can use Duo on iPhone, I will. I don't even know what that means. Somebody can explain it to me. If you can explain that to me, like I will use it, you know, because I would do it. But right now, you have to explain it to me because I stupid. You understand? But anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call this thing tonight. Um, I hate to call it. I want to keep talking. Amy Lynn, um, Amy Lynn was uh, first of all. Thank you, Kelly O'Day, for letting me know about uh, um, Mrs. Donato. Amy Lynn, um, I actually had the idea, but Amy Lynn just you know encouraged me to give a shout out to Mrs. Don Mrs. Donato tonight. So thank you. Yeah. Amy, you missed it, I think. You might want to go back and watch it. Um, Saturday night, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have cocktails together. We're going to have a couple of drinky drinks together. And we're going to talk about something salacious, right? Let's think about what we want to talk about. Talk about some shit we'd be talking about if we were out in the woods somewhere. Nobody can hear us, and um, we just want to talk talk about it. Talk about it. We want to ask each other some questions. We're not doing politics on here. We're not doing religion on here. Politics, religion, and we're not talking about her, Amy Kershaw. Talk about anything, anything in this world. Politics, religion, her. You guys don't know that song? Go listen to it. Best song ever. Hey, I heard about that Zoom bombing today, Scott. It's hysterical. I heard like Will Ferrell Zoom bomb some NBA team or something. And how funny is that shit? Uh, me and Todd and Aaron are going to do it. Listen, I haven't heard from Todd Hand. He doesn't return my call. I hope he's breaking up with me. I don't even fuck. Um, or he's just is probably in Indonesia right now in a cave with a group of people trying to stay away from COVID and they don't talk, they don't masturbate, they don't, you know, they eat rice or they just eat off the land and water and they just living off the vibe of the land. I got money says that's what's happening. Water. And I'm always late to the party. Bill. Bad Paisley has been. Bad Paisley? What's a bad Paisley? Jack says, I think we should drink nitrate. Damn. We'll get some Mad Dog and some Night Train and just go crazy with it. Um, yeah, what is? I don't know, man. I don't know, Scott. I uh, uh, get him. Uh, can't get him to uh, answer the FaceTimes. I can't get him to answer my phone calls. Debbie said I'm hot. Yo, man, I'm too sexy for the live. Too sexy. That's fucked up. That's that's even corny. Feed this dog all like all day. She ate a half a fluffernutter, and now she's sniffing the ground for crumbs. The dog is a crack addict. She would eat until she exploded. Huh. Wonder where she got that from. You all learned it by watching you. That's what the dog's saying to me right now. You guys remember that commercial? But she says, I love your shirt. Clutch, man. Yeah. One zero 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 one 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 zero one zero. Periodic table with the sense of peace of mind. Fucking bam. 
that's off the grid. He is off the grid. I think he's uh, he's got a car battery he hooks up to his nipples twice a day just to make sure he's still alive. Oh, but let me answer my phone call. Where's Ta? Everybody, where is Ta? Tell me, have you seen him? Tell me, have you seen him? Where is my time him? Where is my time him? Tell me, have you seen him? Tell me, have you seen him? Anyway, uh, let's raise more money money for the let's raise more money for the food for the food. Uh, probably did. All right, listen. Thursday night, we're not going to go 45 minutes. We're going to go 45 minutes. Food bank. Saturday night. Just go off cuff. We'll go a little crazy. We'll have, um, I could complain about some stuff again. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was a little off the rails Saturday. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Very nice. Um, I sent that to the wrong person. Uh, A D I D A T S. Be looking for my Ben though. It's J D Dots. J D I D A T S, right? Did at J D Dots. Did at. Um, I fucking keep losing my ma my side. All right. Saturday night cocktail hour. We're gonna have some drinks together. We're gonna do some laughing together. I wanna uh, talk to some people. Hey, primo. Get drunk and listen to some country music. You got that right, kid. You know what I'm saying, man? Because I get whiskey bent and hell bound. I have loved some lady. I have loved Jim Beans. They both tried to kill me back in 1973. Oh. Um, Heather Leakus is here. She must want her out on the Ass, grand cash, don't nobody ride for free. Aw. Big shout out to the Shea family. John and the Leader of the house, Heather, that very great donation that I just received. Um, well, sent me another donation. I don't know if I mentioned that Tuesday. Uh, John Duke sent another one. Um, he also sent a uh, picture of him wearing just a bumblebee outfit the other day. And I really know what a murder hornet looks like. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I'm done. I think I'm out. I think I'm dried up. I think I'm tired. I think I'm just happy to see all of you. Um, and uh, I love all of you. Let's do cocktails Saturday night. Everybody cool with that? Can we do cocktails Saturday night? Um, I tried to Google and find a way that I could listen to music on this without them muting me. I can do it live, but then when I go to post the video, they're just going to mute it so nobody will see it. Um, and I don't want anybody to come to watch the video. And... So, but if you'd like to hit up the donations, let me know. If, if you'd like to um, send me pictures of yourself, let me know. Um, if you would like to send it of yourself out of Kini, let me know. Uh, um, you like to be a walking buddy of mine, let me know. Blah, blah, blah. But let's worry about Saturday. Let's talk. We want to talk something. Or if you want my take on something, let me know. Um, hit me up if you want to FaceTime me live. Um, maybe I'll, I'll just ask you questions to the people at Facebook Live. Maybe we'll play, um, what's that game? Uh, I Never or something. Maybe we, should we play I Never Saturday night? Um, that would be great. 
We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have some cocktails. And uh, John Duke wants to know what the official drink for Saturday is. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm always drinking Miller High Lifes. That's, that's I love that shit. I'm not sure I should do shots again, Duke. I, 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 I'm a, a little bit of a lunatic when I'm drinking the whiskey, even though it was only peanut butter whiskey. I might stick with just the peanut butter whiskey, or I will take some, uh, I'll take some ideas. But no, Jack, I'm not drinking. Uh-uh. I ain't drinking that fucking weed whacker juice ever again, bro. Are you kidding me? All right, listen. Have you ever? There you go. What did I say it was? I never have you ever. Whatever the hell. Shit, if we start, if I start playing have you ever, I'm gonna be hammered. Your boy don't know how to control himself. Your boy, I got it. my decision making process after two drinks. Goddamn near not existent. Cocktails Saturday night right here. We're all gonna do that together. We're gonna have fun. Uh, um, I want to Facetime the uh, same people. I want to Facetime some new people. I want to Facetime everybody. We're gonna make each other laugh. Anybody can figure out a way for me to be able to play live music and keep it on my live. Let me know. I'm going to try this duo thing. Uh, even though we've been in quarantine and it's been nothing but solo. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's the same. Um, you understood? Proper 12. Duke says drink proper 12. A mint, John Chase is a mint. I already I got called out for drinking my Miller High Life with a pinky out. Imagine me drinking a mint julep. What about a mint julep? Shit. All right, listen. Your boy Johnny got to be in work early. He tired. He been working a long time. I got to go. What did we learn tonight? Paper towel goes over, over, never under. Don't be an animal, right? We learned to keep a clean balloon knot. That, uh, what was the other thing there? I forget what I called it. You know, oh god, dry humping. Yeah, we talked about dry humping tonight. What the what the hell's matter for us? We talked about dry humping tonight. He got cooties. And Jeffrey Tottenham finally shows up. Tottenham, I'm gonna give you two. Listen, Tottenham, you're answering right now in front of all of these people. You're gonna let me. You're gonna answer my face Saturday night. And you're going to have a drink with me. Correct, sir? Correct, sir? Answer, Tottenham. Answer right now. Kamikazes. Oh, I love kamikazes. I love kamikazes. Down at Duke's Bar and Grill, we used to do kamikazes and mind erasers. Like, Duke was always drinking slowly and nipples, but, you know. Hence the almond milk. Yeah. Jeffrey Tottenham, answer the question in front of everybody. Check, see, he won't even answer my question. Tottenham, are you going to answer my FaceTime on Saturday night and have a drink with me? Yes or no? No. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He said, sure, sure, like we just met a few months ago and we're not injured. Oh, oh, oh I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit on his shoe. All right, Top. Listen, I'm not your second cousin. You just can't kiss me, fondle me, and then leave me alone. All right, pal? I'm your friend. You're going to love me the way that I love you. We're not going to be friends. This, this is it, man. Come on now. Anyway. It's a wrap. We're at 50 minutes. I'll see you Saturday night for cocktails and all that good stuff. If you'd like to help donate to the food bank, text message or Facebook. Um, if you'd like for me to see what you look like in a bikini, send it to my phone. And um, John Shea, stop sending pictures of me. There's pictures of you in a bikini to me. 
Um, I told you you look good, but really, you got to stop. And as always, I've got toaster in my living room, a pain in the ass dog in my life, fluff in my belly, love for all of you, and I will see you all Saturday night. You stay healthy, and if you need anything, let me know. And